I believe that my parents love me. Did you know that 98% of kids that play with a ball indoors end up breaking their parents' fancy kitchen lights? Well, as you might have guessed, this happened to me. You probably could have also guessed that I'm not allowed to play with a ball indoors. I wonder why. At this point, I think it just proves that I have loving parents because even after that, I don't remember ever getting grounded. One day, I had just got home from my sister's volleyball tournament and she had just gotten this new ball for her to practice with. For some reason, I was very compelled to start bouncing the new volleyball off the walls and catch it. That was a very big mistake. After playing with it for three minutes, I had an idea which sounded very fun at the time, but looking back was a terrible idea. My idea was to bounce the wall off the ceiling as hard as possible and try to catch it. Again, this was a horrible idea. So I followed through with the idea and didn't catch the ball. Instead, the ball bounced off the ceiling, off the wall, off the stairs, and then hit the hanging dining room lights. After the ball hit the lights, they all clanged into each other and cracked. Later, one even fell and shattered. At first, my parents were incredibly mad at me for the incident, but after they were done scolding me, they forgave me and gave me a hug. <clears throat> I believe that this is proof my parents have enormous amounts of love for me. Another time when my parents showed me this kind of affection was when I got my dog Cece. It all started at the beginning of my first grade year when I would not stop begging my mom for a new dog. After days of relentless begging, my mom said one key word instead of the usual no. She said maybe. Yes, you heard me right. Maybe. Any kid knows that this is a key word that this key word is a guaranteed yes 90% of the time. After my successful attempt at begging for a dog, I started to walk away smiling. Until my mom called me back into the room and told me, the only way I'm getting you a dog is if you get all A's the entire year. I had just been challenged with a monumental task, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. I was on a mission. That entire year, I made sure that I got all A's the whole year and I had come out knowing that I would be getting a dog. Sure enough, one week later, we were heading to Columbus to pick up my new dog. Once we arrived, I saw how cute my dog was. She was there waiting for me. Once we had started driving home, my sister had the dog in my lap when she puked on her hand. Moral of the story, I wouldn't have even had a chance to get a dog if my parents didn't love me. Once again, I believe that my parents love me. Every day in my life, they gave me love and tell me they love me. And from these two stories, it proves that my parents show their love through their actions and not just their words. For the final time, I believe that my parents love me and I know they always will.